welcome to another season of Empyrean Iron Man competition. It is season eight, and I'm your host, Zelot. And we will be competing as an official competitor this season again. Uh, last season, I barely survived by being the ultimate coward that I did. You know, if you guys want to, you know, you can check it out. It's still still on the site go to geek tech industries and uh, check it out um, yeah you know my it's because I'm such a coward is why I survive in this game uh, anyway so we got to get this going I already tried once and uh, Windows crashed right when I uh, closed the game off after recording the whole thing and yeah so um, which it also took out my OBS and everything not too happy about that um, but I believe I pinned it down and it should be okay this time so you know let's start again now I really know what I'm up against because technically I've already done this once <laughs> so okay we'll switch it to hard right away now the only thing we're allowed to change out of hard is player progression we're gonna be putting that on normal uh, but we got to put the blueprint spawn limit to true and the block limit for certain devices to true and the auto miner depletion has to be set to, to true. Now let's go over these settings to make sure that they're all correct. Starting equipment, hard. Player progression, normal. Degradation speed, fast. Food consumption, fast. Oxygen consumption, fast. Temperature, radiation, impact, high. Resources, the amount of ore deposit, or the amount of ore per deposit is poor. Number of deposits, few. Uh, where auto miner is true. The enemy difficulty is hard. Rate of NPC spawn, high. Overall drone presence, high. Drone base attack is set to hard. Constructor craft speed is slow. That's the worst setting in the game. If people don't realize that right now, they will. Uh, blueprint production speeds that's set to slow. Meh, that's not the greatest thing either. It can really slow you down, but that is harsh. The constructor craft speed of slow. That sucks. It doesn't make it any harder. It just grinds the hell out of the game. Okay. That's my, that's my gripe. Anyway, <laughs> let's get this going. So we have to play this seed. It is three, 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 and three, three, and three. So yeah, it's six threes. We'll set that. Um, <laughs> and why did that wait, wait, wait? Why did that go to medium? Is that because I changed the seed? Maybe. Let's reset that. Well, uh, watch that guys. If you if you do your heart difficulty settings first and then do your seed, better redo your seed. Uh, player progression set to medium or normal I should say everything else should stay hard and we got to set these to true slow slow hot hard high 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 da, 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 fast yep 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 okay and that's stuck to custom that's good let's call this <clears throat> uh, we'll just call it alpha 8 no, no, no. We'll call it uh, Iron Man. Iron Man Season 8. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's good. That's good. Garrick Garrick. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Ah! I just got launched out of a crashing capital ship. And I'll start 
falling to a planet any minute because some aliens blew up my ship. So that's that's the backstory. So the backstory is aliens blew me up or blew up my ship, and I'm any minute now crashing. Maybe or possibly my computer crashing. We'll see. One of us is going to crash, damn it. Okay, so... Hmm. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, because I just did this, I know that over this way is where the wreckage is. So we're just going to head there. Yeah. I guess that's the the benefit to a crash and restart. It really sucked too, because when I log back in, and I'm like, oh, check the save file, and it wouldn't load. It said it is corrupt. You must d delete. <laughs> it's like, okay, um, fine. So what a lot of people don't realize is there's there's actually a couple ways you can start and I'm not going to really explain a lot right now because I am under time constraints. So what it comes down to is if you skip it, you get a bunch of gear right off the bat. If you say, let's go, you don't really get much right now, but you get a bunch of pointers that point you in directions. And when you do certain things, you get gear. So you'll get pointed to certain things if you if we do the let's go and i actually want to do that because i want to know where the titan is and because that is one of the only pois on this freaking planet that we're going to be able to raid without attacking because we technically can it has no spawners uh okay so let me get all disorientated and and yeah so i already know that the wreckage is west no it's east that way um well we gotta check oh check the pod inventory right yeah let's uh let's not derp out and you know run away without doing the uh, thing yeah suit inventory thing yeah let's do that and then we'll just explore around so right now it actually gave us a survival tool and a bunch of gear this flashlight's pretty awesome for night survival tent and we'll get some bandages down there we'll just leave the plant fibers there that I just picked actually we'll move the purify water down that's fine okay so um, this survival tool uses stamina which uses your food bar to replenish your stamina with so you got to be careful of that especially on hard and so by drilling this, I'm going to be consuming food faster. Um, so it's one thing to keep in mind. But I, you know what? I want it anyway. I want these rocks here. First thing I'm going to need to construct, and it's probably going to have to be fairly quick. Um, although, the... I really sh uh, you know I'm not gonna bother posting the last video there's no point in it because I can't continue on with that save file because it's corrupted so um, basically what happened was I had oh I don't know about a hundred and thirty of each ore and came back to the center uh, small wreckage here in the biome at about, I don't know, 15 of the bars on me. Uh, and yeah, I want to collect all this stuff. I don't really want to use my stamina that much though. It's like, it's really, uh, it can be really detrimental on hard when you're starting. <clears throat> unless you have a lot of food and a way to you know if, if I had light armor on it's not that big of a deal because you can jetpack around quite a bit but 
Oh well. We need to get these rocks anyway, because I'm gonna need to. I need to make enough for. Uh, oh, let's let's open up the PDA like it's telling us just to uh, get this going. Okay. So I, uh, I want to run so bad, but it really kills your stamina, which then in turn just eats your food, just like devours it. And I'm going to start getting hot pretty soon here. That's okay. I think all I need is second level, maybe third. halfway through two okay so the wreckage is over there well we might as well mosey on over oh, I want to run I keep forgetting well I'm not very good at keyboard mousing so uh, the double the double skip still requires you to fry your stamina a little bit a smidge uh, yeah I know it's faster but I think just regular jumping is a little faster too, it seems. I don't know. Is it? Is it? Maybe. Let's see. Doesn't it? It just seems, although the ground maybe is just coming up at us faster. That's all. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's keep going. We'll get the wreckage. I don't want to burn up too much of my... Too much of my uh, energy... Although all this stuff, I, I can get biofuel at any time, really. I mean, all these trees are going to create a lot of fiber for me. Okay, so I am going to need rocks, though. It's going to be the only way to get some silicone. And you can see it's going to start consuming my, my food a lot quicker here. Okay, this one's 1300 yikes it's probably gonna take a whole protein bar to replenish yeah like my food just <laughs> you can literally see the dial moving I mean sure you can see the address uh, my uh, stamina one but you can literally see my food dial moving while I do this. So that's how you drain your food real fast. Real fast. Look at that. That's more than a power bar's worth of food already. Just to get through this one rock. when my energy was depleted so I got 23 and 32 well that was actually really worth it though because I needed all that I need that stone because silicone just sucks around the starter bio and wreckage unless you actually uh, you know have a drill which I don't because you know I'm doing the Robson protocol because you know I'm an idiot not really though not really Let's get some of this going, since I got like a crap ton, and I need to eat. Also, you know what, I, I am going to take a look at the, what are we going to need for the portable constructor? We need third level, okay, so we need to pick, pick stuff, okay, I don't want to get too close to those guys, they can actually, they will attack you if you, uh, if it looks like you're threatening them. They'll give you a little whack, but it's not a little whack. It's like, there we go, level three. It's not so little. It can actually um, give you about 100 points of damage and stun you so <laughs> without armor on. So uh, I would just say avoid them anyway. Even though that they won't intentionally go out of their way to chase you down and kill you, they will attack you if you get too close to them. 
which is understandable. I can deal with that behavior. You just stay away from them and they stay away from you. Okay, so we need 75 stone. We need 75 stone. What are we at? 63. Okay. Okay. So we'll keep heading. We're burning daylight here. We really need to keep going. Seven, so good we're getting close we're getting close to having enough silicone because that's all that's going to screw us up right now is silicone because we i'm pretty sure we've got enough copper and iron yep okay so this looks like a little swamp biome here we might be able to get some food out of speaking of food let's eat that don't want to get too too low so that can you can run into problems if you start letting your your levels of stuff get too low. Like you can see how fast my food got depleted just from smashing that rock. And same with this tree, it's gonna eat up my food. See it? My food just drains away. go that was about 20 some odd food or more than that because it's still count it's still replenishing my stamina there we go so that was you know 30 some odd food just one tree so that's why the survival tool can can be a little sketchy if you use it a lot but hey you know it's better than not having a tool a shitty tool is better than no tool, right? I appreciate it. It's actually kind of cool. I like the idea of being able to make stuff from your pajamas. <laughs> Pull your tool out of your pajamas and, and start cut, waving it around and chopping trees down with it, you know? It's, uh, it's appealing. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Good enough. Good enough for the wood. I don't need any more wood. I've got my tool I can pull out of my pajamas. <laughs> okay. Uh, come on. Pickables, please. Kind of a bleak, bleak area to be trudging through. Okay, so yeah, we're getting all the usual suspects now. Okay, how's our food? Energy bar is going because we're consuming a crap ton right now. Okay. Oops, not defense mode, rock drill. Wow, we're almost out of daylight. This this planet's like super duper fast. It, it seems unnaturally spinning unnaturally fast. <laughs> I don't know, doesn't it? We're almost out of day. Okay. And I haven't even got to the wreckage yet. Well, I'm gonna have to fry some of my food running there. That's how you gotta look at it now, folks. If you're on running on hard survival, you gotta look at your stamina as food. Literally. If you don't, you're gonna starve to death. It's it's plain and simple. So you gotta you gotta always be on top of your food. Always be on top of your food. Now the temperature's starting to drop. <clears throat> okay, we rose a level. The temperature's starting to drop. I'm getting a little worried of that. So I'm going to unlock the portable heater cooler. And I'm actually going to get that 
constructing right away. So I'm going to stop all this and get that going right after that's done. I'll eat that. Oh, I was going to eat that. Eat that. Thank you. Okay, so let's keep going. Getting there. Yeah, I know, I'm jumping. It's just that, well, I guess I could have, it, it, it just, it, it irks me that I have to run everywhere and consume my food. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> We've got our stuff. Craft a drill. Uh, did we have enough? 68, no. So we've got to get seven more stones. That looks like a stone over here. It's a resource stone. Well, not really what I wanted, but <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <sighs> okay, so stones. I need some stones. Not brains. I need stones. Really? They're like <laughs> one freaking rock. Come on. What about down in the water? No, it's a resource rock. Oh, there's a stone over there. Oh, there's some rocks over there. Okay, okay. So let's let's get this stuff. Yeah, I know I'm sprinting, but it's just it's really getting low on time now, and I haven't even constructed the the stupid drill yet. That might be enough now. Uh, it should be now. Okay, so let's um. What are we going to go after? The copper, I guess, first? Because it's way the hell over there. And we're going to need to come back. Yeah. So let's do that. And we got to swim over to it. Huh. That really sucks. How much wood do I got? 11. That's a lot for biofuel. So let's, let's pick everything that we can. So it looks like over here is going to be the closest place to swim across. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So let's do it. We'll get everything out of our hands and we'll just get in the water. Yeah, yeah. And we'll do the cross swim thing and swim sideways fast. And yes. <laughs> oh, come on. I gotta jump, do I? Okay. I can deal with that. Oh, seaweed. Yum. Now, if there's just some fish, I can make some sushi. Well, I guess I need some rice too. Okay. And we got some rocks up here and stuff. And so let's lay down the portable constructor. And is this ready? It is. Good. So we'll lay that down too. And we might as well eat that and we'll get more cooking. Because they're counting down, so we need to cook those up. Okay, uh, so yeah. Let's lay this down. And we'll get logs in there. And get that cooking. And then um, we'll actually drop the... We'll drop this down, because it is actually starting to get a little chill. And... Oh, wait, I, I need... What am I doing? I'm being an idiot. I need to make a drill first. So let's put that in. Well, I, 
it doesn't matter. I need the biofuel too, but... I'll just make the one for now to get going. And then we'll queue up the drill. Okay. And... Yeah. Um, construction speed. <laughs> oh. That'd be painful. So let's just go deal with some rocks and stuff while we wait for that. Okay. Yeah, not defense mode. Rocks. Come back! Looks like a nasty coiler. Uh, what do we got here? My drilling craft is going to take like, you know, half the night to craft, so I'll just uh, run around and pick nothing because there is nothing around here to pick. <laughs> and oh, it, it's starting to get cold up here. That's okay. We can, we can. We can bear, we can bear it a bit here to try and find stuff. Oh, I hear, I hear things. They're okay. They'll just run. They'll just run. They're way more scared of me than I am of them. Oh, there's some food up there. Okay, let's head back over to the constructor. And I'm not going to jump and break my leg, because that would be just ridiculously stupid. But I'll jump going uphill, because that's unlikely to break your leg. It seems faster, doesn't it? It seems faster jumping. Okay. Oh my god. That is tedious. T D S. Wow. So put that back in and get those going with it once this is crafted. <sighs> Okay, so I'll uh, I'll be back once I got this crafted and most of the silicone that I want drilled out. Okay, so I'll I'll come get you in a bit. <laughs> okay, so we have 136 copper and it's actually almost mined out actually, but. I'll come back and clean it out later. We're running out of time. We're really running out of time here. So let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. So we got to head over to the iron. So let's... How's, what's the easiest way of doing that? I think just swimming. Okay. So let's get this out of our hands so that if we fall in the water, we're not going to drown right away. And I'm going to have to spend a whole bunch of stamina. That means food, but that's okay. Hey, grain, I'll take that. And that, so let's make sure, yep, we're still, we're still cooking stuff, good good okay eat one more because we're gonna need the food and let's swim let's swim and we're gonna swim really fast sideways because you go even faster sideways and we're almost 
Almost. Almost there. Doing the sideways sprint. There we go. Okay. And my stamina, that's going to cost a lot of food. Damn. So, and then we got to swim. So, we're going to go over here. Might as well pick stuff on the way if we can, right? We are getting really low on time though, really low on time. We only got one of the resources I want. So we we kind of we got to we got to spend our stamina right now. It sucks, but we got to do it. Uh, well, let's cross right here, right where this uh we'll pick that and we'll do the uh cross Ways swim, and climb. Okay, and oh man, we're gonna have to swim again. <laughs> okay. At least it looks like it's close. No, 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 don't be drowning. Don't be drowning. Okay. Get up out of here, and let's throw down the constructor and the heater, uh, and we'll put the logs in. Might as well put that in, and we'll get back going. Okay, so we've got some biofuel on us. Let's do this. So let's grab this iron or as much as we can right now. So you notice I'm not sleeping the night away. I'm using the heater because I want to get resources before critters start spawning. So, you know, I, I think the first 24 hours of game time of the, is critical on how you can establish yourself. And this is Iron Man, so I mean, I, I can't really take risks unnecessarily so not getting enough resources to start by sleeping the night away I think is a bit of a risk that's unnecessary I'm not crafting anything right now so I don't really need to speed up time and truthfully I think that might be I uh, might be tempting it or sleeping in the bed quite a bit to uh, to speed up the crafting in the game. That might be what my strategy is, is, is start the uh, stuff queued up at night and then uh, go to sleep and come back and it should be like halfway crafted or more, hopefully. So, come on. Come on, Iron. Give me more, give me more. So what are we at? 52. Okay, I'm going to come back when uh, when I'm almost done here. Okay. So we have 132 ore. That's good enough. Let's get going. That was a good time in there. Wow. That doesn't happen often. Okay, so we need silicone, right? Where is that? Over there. Let's, uh, can we... Can we get there without swimming? Nope. Oh yeah, we could have. Okay, so let's throw the bike out. Use the bike. Because we're getting low on time here. And the bike does not consume any uh, resources riding. Just regular amounts. Yeah, I'm bypassing stuff, but oh, here's a field of flowers. Nice, you know what? Let's pick this up, <clears throat> and we're just gonna we're just gonna prance through this field of flowers really quick. Okay, we'll skip through the flowers, and aren't they pretty? 
a sec. No. Okay. Handy dandy. Still got four minutes. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm feeling pretty good. Fourth level already. All right. Feeling really good about this. You know what? I'm feeling so good, we're going to chop down a tree. That's how good I feel about this. Five. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, let's get this going. I should have got the uh, constructor going with fuel right right away although it's not really gonna matter I'm, oh look at all that spoiled food now eh? all the stuff I'd picked starting to spoil that's still good the plant protein that I just picked so let's get that actually oh, it's still crafting it that's good eat a couple so we're getting a good supply of energy bars going that's good you can see how fast we consume our food, eh? Because of the, the stamina issue. Uh, okay, so let's get the logs in here and get that going. Put that in there too. And we'll put the... Uh, you know what? I'm going to put the heater down anyway just because it's cool and it has a light. And it's hot. It's hot and cool and has a light. So, you know, that's, that's awesome. And I want to drill the heck out of this silicone. Was that a fern stopping me? That felt weird. <clears throat> okay. Ideally, I want to be back in the starter biome uh, before before too much over the, um, I want to be on my motorcycle with clear line of sight to it at least. Um, by the time that we're into like no time left of this day. So that means I got to try and get as much of the silicone as possible and then jump on the bike. So the stutter biome on this seed actually is touching water, which is quite nice because you can um, build a base on the stutter biome with with it really close to water, or at least the water is accessible uh, without too much risk involved. So that's always nice. <coughs> Okay, I'll come back and get you guys when I've got this drilled as much as I want. Okay, so we have 132 silicone. <laughs> Same amount as iron. That's funny. Okay, well, um, let's go. Let's go. We're heading back to the... Uh, I don't want to wait for that. Sorry, but you're coming with me. I don't care. Yeah, I wasted fiber. Whatever. Okay, starting biome. Well, we're almost there. Let's just... We're going to head over to this small wreckage. Okay. So, we'll, we're going to walk as far as we can smashing rocks and stuff on the way until we, until time really starts getting to be a, a problem <clears throat> right now it's still we still got a little bit of time I wouldn't mind keeping gathering stuff outside of the uh, starter bio and water we got to 
water or just a little puddle? Huh. And the tree growing out of it. Oh, is that buds? That's buds. So that's a good thing to gather too. Oh, silicone, look at that. Um, whenever you see buds, you might want to pick them, especially if you're on a planet that tends to get really cold at night. Uh, right off the bat, because that can actually keep you alive while you're waiting for that heater to construct. <laughs> So it seems to be not quite as cold for me tonight, or at least in this area. <clears throat> okay, so let's, am I heading the right way here? Yeah. Okay. I think we're, we're flirting with danger now. It's getting awfully close to sunrise and stuff will start spawning during the day. Not as much as the next night, like the coming night is going to be dangerous. I should actually make a chainsaw to do this to not eat up my stamina, but I think I can afford the food right now. And the, the starting biome has a whole bunch of those corn dogs around, so I think we'll be okay. Getting really close to this wreckage here, so we must be almost in the starting biome, right? No, we're in the forest. So let's loot this. No, oh, this is the wreckage. The wreckage, right? Wreckage. <laughs> derp a derp. Uh, I don't know why it's running to the wreckage. I want the small wreckage. That's fine waste a bit of our stamina. Gosh, there's like no plants around to pick. A little bit. Some brains. I mean, I guess the natural stimulant is pretty good, but I, I think it can give you like bad trip or something. I forget. Okay, we gotta swim. Do we have to swim? I don't think we have to swim. I think we need to just get around this water here. I'm just frying my food, aren't I? Running, yeah. Oh well. It's because we're getting low, low on time. Oh, I should have used the drill. Oh well. Too late. Okay, are we almost out of the water area? Oh, we're keeping ahead of time. That's what's going on. I'm like, why is time like? Because we're heading west. Whoa, come back. Okay, so can we actually mount up now? Like what, what's the issue here? Water again? Is that water down there, or ravine, or something? Okay, well, I think we can... I think we can do it here. And, and just... And just smash into things. I know there's... There's plants and stuff here, but... I want to get over here. the starter biome so now if I see plants I will stop and pick them like was that one there I couldn't tell ah notice that it's keeping our light on now so that's actually really handy that's a big improvement um, we've been asking for that for you know since like 
the very beginning of the game. So I'm glad they added that in. Finally. No, Elon Studios is doing an awesome job with this game. I must I must say they are probably one of the hardest working dev team I've ever heard of how much how much they they do for just a small team and how many updates they're constantly um, constantly updating the game. It's it's really well supported by the dev team, so kudos. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Let's do um let's do the drill drill. Eat up any more of our food. So we'll just mosey on over to the small wreckage and I'm just going to pick some stuff on the way. Get as much XP and, and uh, stuff that I can. And since I'm in the starter biome, I'm not too worried about uh, critters because I don't think they spawn at all in the sp starter biome. Now that I got the mats that I need, I'm not in a big, huge rush anymore. I think I, uh, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll do well. I think, uh, I think we got this. The first day is so critical, and I think we did it. I think we did it, guys. I didn't die, right? And I accomplished the mission by finding the wreckage, right? So, I'm already, um, I've already completed mission one. <laughs> I've already completed mission one. Successful. Woohoo! <clears throat> you know what? I'm just going to jump on the bike here. And head over to the small wreckage. Because I'm thinking this is going to be my home. <clears throat> I might actually power up a base here and take on um, take on drones for for salvaging because I'm gonna need the parts from them because there's not much to salvage on this planet because it's only size three and it's a starter planet so there's no civilian there's maybe a couple of villages and there'll be some wrecks and that's it you know a couple of the Titans, I think, are our best bet to get gear at this point. So I think the Robson Protocol is going to lead us there. And hopefully we'll be doing just fine by next week. So I think this is a really good start. We've just got crickets over there. We've got <clears throat> a whole bunch of... We've got lots of ore now to spool up and you know what that's what I should start doing right now is get one of these down and you know what I could I should probably unlock the other one it's so cheap to make I should unlock it and make another one it's not a bad idea the amount of ore that it's so it's like eh, I'm gonna lose no, um, and copper, huh. iron, okay, so I'll lose out on like 10 iron ingots if I do that, meh, it's not that bad, it's not that bad, I think, uh, I don't think I'll bother right now, let's just get this stuff in here, and yeah all this stuff's probably going to spoil on me it's already starting to what can I make let's actually put everything in here I know my 
my suit is still constructing. Oh, it's not. It's done. Okay, let's eat that. Eat another one. And keep that going. Get another one going. There we go. And we'll check what this can do. So we can make the berry juice, but that's just going to spoil. Can we make any? Yeah, we can make some anti-rad pills, stomach pills. Oh, shoot. Leave me alone. Yeah, he's all trying to deke me out, acting tough. He's acting like he might pop me. He's acting like he might pop me. He's 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 being a little a little aggressive looking. I'm not liking that. <laughs> not liking him. I've already had experience with these things. They attack. They will attack unprovoked. So yeah. Uh, anyway, let's just get stuff going here. I need ten twenty ten twenty. Let's get that going, and once that's done, I'll throw that in the constructor. So the constructor, I'm going to be using this blueprint here. It is the HV box top starter. Send that to the factory. <clears throat> so that's what it's going to require. That's not too bad. We can easily do that. So we're, we're going to be just fine. And actually, you know what, let's, um, we can pull some stuff out and put it in there right away, right? Although it doesn't really matter. I don't think that's going to speed up anything. I'm probably better off, um tenting this now. I can't. I can't. It's daylight, right? Yeah. That's okay. This guy's really annoying. Like, really annoying. <laughs> Go away. If I... Oh, did I check this? Nice. Didn't check that yet. Yeah, yeah. being weird. I don't like him. Well, I'll just call him my little weird buddy. Yeah, he's creepy. He's just creepy. Well, on that note, uh, I'm going to end the episode here. So, we succeeded. We crash landed. We did not die. We've spent the first day, uh, you know, running around getting resources. We got our drill up and running. We got uh, all the ores that we needed. We got some biofuel happening. We've got a bunch of food. So I think our three things we tried to accomplish, we did. And... I think next episode we'll have an HV to, to run around and uh, collect more resources, basically. So until then, guys, you guys have an awesome, awesome day.